Hello everyone. Today we shall look into the creation of star rating in calculated columns or measure. Here we have a data where we have multiple columns and among it we have satisfaction rate based upon which we would like to create a rating column. I'll click on new column. Okay, let us initially understand how we could bring in the star and then we'll understand how to make the rating uh, according to the requirement. Here in the column name, what I would write is full star equal to. I have some unicare function in which uh, I could uh, embed the icons. Suppose that unicare number 9733 it uh, represents a full star where I could uh, check the full star. I'll uh, run it and show you how it looks. Here you could see that the full star it is represented in the, this column where you could see one single star in all the rows. Now suppose that I wanted to repeat based upon the satisfaction rate column here. I have a function called REPT where it would repeat my text content whichever it is uh, present here I would uh, put a comma after the first parameter you could see the second parameter is number of times I instead of giving a hard coded number I would uh, provide this satisfaction rate column I'll close the parenthesis and hit enter here you could see that uh, for the full star you know I, ha I have got all the five stars based upon the satisfaction rate which is present over here in this column and if at all I, I open the drop down here I'll open the drop down okay here you could see that based upon the ratings from 1 to 5 I have got this necessary stars but uh, for the rest of the you know rating if at all I want empty stars let us understand how it works so before that what I'll show you is if at all I change my unicare character to the number 9734 I would get the empty stars instead of full stars. Okay. Here I have changed the unique care 9734 and it will now show me the empty stars. Here you could see the column where I have the empty stars. Right. So we could make use of these two stars and uh, make, make another uh, satisfaction rating column where you could uh, concatenate and utilize the both the fun you know unicare functions here i'll select a new column here i'll write satisfaction star rating equal to here i have this rept function where i would uh, repeat my unicare value of uh, 9733 for the number of times, I'll provide my satisfaction rate column. Okay, here what I'll do is I'll con concatenate using ampersand symbol. And what I'll do is I'll again use my REPT function. In, in the text, what I'll write is unicare 9734, where I'll, re I'll repeat this empty star for 5 minus satisfaction rate column. The reason why I'm doing is for the uh, you know rating where I don't have the empty stars, I'm trying to bring in the empty empty stars by using this condition. I'll commit. Here, once I open the drop down, you would be able to see that for uh, the stars where I don't have the empty values, like suppose that I have one star, one star is full star and four star is the empty stars. Similarly, for two stars, I get the two full stars and uh, three empty stars. So this is how I wanted to show you the calculated column for the star rating based upon the values present. Now let us uh, see in the table visual how this uh, calculated column may work. I'll go to the calculated, uh, you know, this. Uh, I'll go to the report view. Here I have this uh, table visual where I have uh, agent ID, full name and the other details. Here I have some rating column which is average rating. Here you could see that my rating uh, ratings, average ratings, it ranges above 3 and uh, below 5, right? So what I would uh, require is to bring in some calculated column or uh, any, any measure where I would uh, showcase my rating. 
what I'll do is I'll click on this build a visual here I'll uh, include the calculated column and check whether it works or not here I'll bring in the satisfaction star rating okay here you could see that my satisfaction star rating column is working fine but there is an issue I'll show you what is the issue here I have uh, the repetition of values for the agent 1 we have all the 5 stars being repeated and similarly for the agent 2 all the 5 stars are being re repeated so we could understand that if at all our values are repeating our calculated column may not fetch in the right kind of values until unless we have distinct values so in order to avoid that what we could do is we could create a measure and based upon the condition we could uh, bring in the values here I'll remove this satisfaction star rating column. I'll select the measure table. Okay, I'll create a new measure. Here in the measure I'll write star rating equal to I'll use switch function in order to write my expressions and values. I'll give the true condition. Okay, wherever it is true, suppose my average rating measure, which is average of satisfaction rate, if it is less than 4 so what I want is I want to use my REPT Unicare ok 9733 I will close the parenthesis I want to repeat it for th uh, thrice ok I will concatenate with another REPT which has Unicare value of 9734 I want to repeat it for twice ok the empty star for thrice sorry the empty star for twice and the full star for thrice ok in the similarly if at all my rating is less than 5 what I want is the 4 star ok here if it is less than 5 I will keep it as uh, 4 star and I will repeat this for one time so here my condition would be satisfied I will close the parenthesis and hit enter now here I could uh, bring in my measure from my measure table where I have written as star rating. I will select the star rating. Here you could see that wherever I have a rating above 4, I have got the rating above 4. Wherever it is above 3, I have got the rating as 3 stars. So similar th in this way we could write a measure where you could uh, write the switch statement and uh, bring in the star rating. Uh, using measure as well as uh, you could uh, write the calculated column using the same uh, unicare function and repeat function REPT functions This is all for now. Thank you for watching and uh, we shall meet in the next video